they will start moving towards the surface. You sometimes in mass where it's what we call a boil, where all the hatchlings will leave at the same time. Typically from this point to the point they come out is about five or six days. The idea of turtle sense is to try to put instruments, sensors into the turtle nest, monitor those sensors and then predict when the, when, the, when the turtles will be emerging from the nest. And if we can do that, we can minimize the amount of time that the beaches are closed. The, the closures initially are small where you can drive by them. Once they reach the hatching window is when the turtle nest closures get expanded down to the water and um, become problematic when, for, for people that want to drive on the beach. So uh, the way it works is when, when they have their nest patrols, they go up and down the beach and they can see the turtle tracks uh, of the mother coming up to the beach and so they know there's a nest and they start digging and their protocol now is to excavate the nests and count how many eggs there are. So when they do that, they take one of these and this is our sensor and it's the same size as a turtle egg. So inside here is where we have uh, our smart sensor, it's on a one inch circuit board, it's got a microprocessor and it measures uh, motion and acceleration and temperature. And that's where the electronics are. The top board here is a cell phone unit and it has a cell phone and GPS capability and this is a SIM card for the, to get on the network. And these boards are made for vending machines so that the vending machines can call in their, their stock needs. Underneath that board, there's the board we designed, and that has a microprocessor and a communications unit. So that gets placed on top of the eggs, and then they bury this cable, and it goes out about, I don't know, 20 feet. At the other end, there's a connector, which is sealed up in this pill bottle and buried. So that, that stays out there for a couple of weeks, and then later on, they, they bring a tower, which is a three-inch piece of PVC pipe, sewer pipe, that's been put in a bucket of cement. And it's, it's arranged that way so that it won't blow away in a, in a hurricane or get washed away by a high tide. And they bury the, the cement in the, in the sand. And then our unit goes on top. And uh, we plug it into the sensor. It's got a plug. I'm already swamped with data. I have, I have a, a record for every minute of what's going on during the day. That's 1,440 records a day. So now what we have to do is correlate all the data to what's been recorded and figure out, yeah, when they said there was an overwash, it looks like this. When there's a crab attack, it looks like this. When, the, when it collapses, it looks like this. When hatching looks like this. So we, we still have a lot of analysis to do. And, but even without the analysis, we, we could see it on the first nest. There's a very active stage, and then it gets quiet. And typically from this point to the point they come out is about five or six days. They will start moving towards the surface. You sometimes in mass where it's what we call a boil, where all the hatchlings will leave at the same time. We're at the nest site on Cape Hatteras, where we think that there's about to be a boil. Um, my original prediction was that it was going to be yesterday, plus or minus a day. So we went a day early, didn't boil. We went yesterday, didn't boil. So I'm hoping it's tonight.